Back to Sports Edge. We traded, uh, we traded up. We got rid of Eric, brought in <laughs> Coach Mark Nofri from uh, Sacred Heart. Congratulations. You guys are ranked in the top 25 now for the first time in school history. Yeah, it was, it's <laughs> exciting, I can tell you that. Have you just been going nuts with all the media requests and everything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's been exciting. You know, it's been something new, and uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, hoping that our kids uh, relish the opportunity to be ranked in the top 25 and finally get some recognition for what they're doing. It's been great, and it's a pleasure to see the smiles on their face. What, what has been the key to changing the culture there? Because not long ago, this is a team that struggled to, to be over 500, and here you are winning conference championships now, picked to finish first this year. I mean, people now recognize um, Sacred Heart football. I, I, I got to believe it was the coaches and the players all coming together on one page. And, uh, you know, we, we had played a lot of young kids uh, their freshman, sophomore year, so you're going to take some lumps. After their sophomore year, they, they made a full commitment that they wanted to change the culture and the attitude. Uh, they want to put Sacred Heart on the map and build the foundation. And we did that um, right after the fall 2012 season. And the kids have been great. I mean, between the coaches, the communication, and the players, and everybody being on the same page, um, they just they have something about them. And, and they weren't going to stop until they got there. And uh, last year, they turned into a 10 and 2 season, an NSC championship. And this year, you know, we're off to a 6 and 1 start right now. You talk about the 10 and 2 season. That was the, the best turnaround for Division I AA football ever, right? Because you guys were coming off a 2 and 9 year. Coming whatever. off a 2 and 9 season, and then uh, picked last in the NEC. And then last year, you know, we ended up uh, 10 and 2 NEC champs. Into the playoffs, you end up losing to Fordham in the playoffs. But now here you are, right? Big win over Delaware, yep. top, top ranked team. The, the victory over Duquesne uh, over the weekend puts you in, into the top 25. You say you kind of see it as all the coaches and players coming together. You know, for your next contract negotiation, you should say, I think it's all about the head coach coming off coach of the year no, last year. No, no, believe me, I've, I've been blessed with uh, great kids, you know, um, good players and, and a phenomenal coaching staff. And uh, like I you know, was saying the other day, it, it takes a lot more than uh, just a head coach to make a program go. And, you know, people don't realize the behind the scenes people that you got working for, you know, your support staff, your training room, the administration, the coaches, and everybody being on the same page. What's your philosophy on recruiting? Do you like to, you know, pick some guys from home? I, I'll take kids from wherever they're from. It doesn't matter to me. We try and find a kid that fits Sacred Heart, you know, academically, athletically. Um, sometimes it may not be the best kid or the best recruit, uh, maybe not the fastest, the biggest, or the strongest, but we find a kid that has a little bit of a chip on his shoulder that's hungry. And, and my philosophy is I call them grinders. I call kids grinders. You know, that's what we are, and that's, that's the makeup of our team, and that's what we kind of recruit. Uh, that's what my coaches instill. You know, we find kids that play with a chip on their shoulder that I know in the fourth quarter or when it's crunch time that I can count on that kid to get the job done, and they just keep going at it and going at it, and that's what they did last week at Duquesne. I mean, uh, at one point, we were down 20-7 to 7 in the third quarter, and things were looking a little bleak. Uh, you know, we got a couple stops defensively. Uh, RJ turns in a, a huge run for an 80-yard touchdown on the quarterback keep, and it just switched the momentum and come the fourth quarter, you know, like I said, they found a way to win and they grinded it out and that's kind of been our motto. You have four games left, left. St. Francis coming up this weekend. Good luck in that one. Hope yeah. you win them out, yeah. end up back in the playoffs. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and thank you for tuning into Sports Edge. Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate Coach. it. Thanks.